My name is Jordan Dez. I am a Baha'i and I came to Salt Lake City in August. I was born in Oregon, raised in Connecticut, so from all over the country. And I'm a grad student in Vermont at the School for International Training. I'm studying sustainable development and I'm six months pregnant. And my faith as a child, I was raised in the United Church of Christ, which is, um, you know, you could picture like the big white churches in New England, very typical New England fashion. So I decided to become baptized when I was 13. My parents made it up to me, left it to my decision. But at the same time, I think the decision it still wasn't mine because, I mean, at 13, you're totally influenced by your friends and everybody around me was Christian at the time. And I'm now a Baha'i and I learned about the Baha'i faith from my husband. I think, I think it's going to be a lot of learning and a lot of work for me because I don't know as much about the Baha'i faith as I know about the Christian faith. There, I have more of an understanding of God. I mean, Baha'i say God is an unknowable essence, so it's not something that I don't understand God better now, but I have developed, I guess, worked on my relationship with God to a certain extent. That, um, but there was no big bang moment. There was a lot of moments that slowly led up to becoming a Baha'i. I, you know, I was really a seeker, as one could call it, like really seeking a faith for, I mean, really studying also the Baha'i faith, maybe for about two years. God is part of my daily life more, that there's a problem and then there's there's a thought, like this, oh, you know, God is still there and God loves me and this is a test and I'm learning from this test. Um, and also because there is that progressive revelation, Baha'i Faith never asks you to reject your past beliefs or reject other religions. It's part of our religion. The, right? I went home for Christmas this past year as a Baha'i and celebrated Christmas with my parents. And with a Baha'i education includes learning about Islam and learning about Judaism and learning about Christianity and learning about Hinduism. This is part of a Baha'i religious education. Uh, in the faith, um, children come of age spiritually when they're 15, so at that point it will be her choice to just decide if she wants to be Baha'i or not. And it really, my, my heart would be open to what, what, whatever she chooses really, I think. 